for the past six days, I've done any and all available activities. And I can tell you right now, they are so diverse that you won't have a single moment of being bored. Let me tell you a little bit about what I've been going through so far. First of all, you get a morning and a night safari. They're all absolutely amazing. But the activities are diverse. First of all, you get picked up at your residence and you have your very own driver. It's a beautiful 4x4 that takes you pretty much wherever you have to go to experience every bit of it. You get to ride a camel. You get to have a falcon on your hand. Honest to God, I've never had that in my life. You've got doom bashing, which is when the 4x4 goes absolutely insane. And it's a lot of fun because it is safe. The drivers are extremely well equipped to take care of you and give you a little bit of taste of adrenaline. Then you have sandboarding, you've got the buggy riding, and you have the quad biking. Now those are add-ons, but for me, I wouldn't consider them add-ons. I would consider them absolutely necessary because they really help you enjoy the desert in your own personalized way. Other than that, the morning adventure comes with refreshments on all of that, but the night one has more of an inclusion because you have a campsite, and in the campsite, you have a lot of different types of entertainment. You've got fire, basically fire shows. You've got music, you've got belly dancers. It's actually really, really cool because all of it sort of showcases what matters in this region for when it comes to entertainment. A little bit about the food that you guys will be experiencing in safari camps like this. It is absolutely amazing because you have the diversity from proper fresh barbecue and a lot of assortments and salads and what we call in the Lebanese words, mizza. And at the same time, you get to really see how a community comes together from all over the world to experience different things. So for me, I would do both without an inch of a doubt. But more importantly, you end your day genuinely feeling fulfilled. And that's what I've been feeling the past few days doing these experiences. To book your tickets, check the description below. I think in the morning you get to really experience the desert for what it is. You get to experience it for the nimbleness that it comes with and it really just has a morning vibe to it like for all the morning people who really want to get out there and start their adventures as soon as possible that's the one for them but when it comes to the later afternoon sort of night safaris they have their own magic they're completely indescribable they're completely different i would say that it's more community oriented towards the night where you have the camp, you have the food, you have the dancers. The fire shows are amazing because it's so fitting with the theme of the desert. And at the same time, I really feel like that the adventures that are experienced towards the afternoon hit differently. In terms of an actual decision making, I would say you need to decide how you want your day to continue. Because when you finish the morning, obviously it's gonna take a lot of your energy, but you will have enough energy to do other things in your day. When it comes to the night, it will sort of fill you in every single way. Plus the food being combined there and the traditional food, which is usually a combination of international food and traditional Arabic barbecue, it, it, it gives you a closure for that day. I would say it depends on how you're feeling that day or that week, but by all means, you need to try both to have a genuine experience. I'm sitting in a brand new Land Cruiser. These guys have the primo, top-notch, best quality vehicles that are extremely safe for doom bashing and transportation. I actually got picked up at my residence. And as long as you're in Dubai, you can be picked up from your residence, your hotel, wherever you are. You have the shared one, you have the private one, and that is based on the package that you take. For me, I think both of them are very good, but it depends on the mood you're in. Sometimes you want to meet other like-minded people and enjoy yourself that are coming from a different part of the world. And other times you might be a resident in Dubai for many years and you just want to have a chilled out experience with your partner, with your family, whoever, and that's when you take the private one. First of all, when it comes to the standard one, it sort of includes everything. But the magic in the premium one is that you get a more personalized experience from every angle. With the premium, you get better seating. You have an option for a majlis, which is basically, it's a cabin that's a seat. And keep in mind all of the extra options that you get when it comes to food. This is the premium side, where you have proper barbecue being cooked in front of you live. And this side, is where you get to sit down and enjoy it. Then all the way to the other side, we have the standard seating. From the sit down that you've got right there to all the food that's gonna be placed right behind me. You've got so many options that are gonna be put in a buffet style, made fresh right here in the camp. 
I really hope that this video answered any and all questions that you have about the available experiences, but worry not because Headout has curated experiences that are designed to make the biggest smiles happen on your faces from now and years to come. But make sure to book early, seriously. To book your tickets, just click here.